want treats? We, we got, got treats for you. If anybody wants a treat, we got a treat. Okay. You ready? Gear Horror! Gear Horror! Gear Horror! Okay. Hi. It's Deb again. Gear Horror yet again. Yay! We're here at our jam spot this time. That's right. Littered around all the remnants of tours gone by and current work going on are a, but a but a half dozen or a dozen coffee cups, one of which I have filled with piss. So uh, I have to avoid the warm coffee today because it's like Russian piss roulette. Today we're going to talk about this from Mesa. This is the John Petrucci, uh, what is it, Mark V signature? It's a JP2C. JP2C. So what it is, is um, sort of new for me because uh, I've loved boogie amps for many, many years. But I've always been kind of used to the 6L6 uh, rectifier kind of sound. The dual rectifier with a clean boost was always a really functional amp for me. And so this was different, but there's a bunch of things about it that I think are really cool. First off, it's rack mountable, which is a huge bonus because as we travel, I'm, you know, I got racks of, of stuff that we take everywhere. And uh, to have an amp that uh, sits on top, it's often just unprotected. I remember years ago, I had a rack mounted dual rectifier and that was really cool too. So I'm glad to see they return to that. And it's essentially a three channel amp but it's got a bunch of really cool features, like uh, it's finally MIDI. So you can run a MIDI cable from basically any MIDI uh, foot pedal into this. And there's a switch on the back. And when, you've have, when you have your, your channel set up the way you want, if you wanted uh, your clean to be on number one, you just hit your MIDI button one and then hit store in the back and that's it. It's got uh, it's cab clone, which is like a direct out thing, and that's cool too. It's specifically for, uh, you know, if you are in a hotel room and you don't want to lug any extra gear and you want to do a recording, it works great. It's got a headphone out as well for, for practicing. So uh, you might want to consider like a, a phone app versus a massive head if that's all you want to do with it. But still within that, it's really cool. It's got a reverb. Oh, <laughs> What's that? What do you mean by that? What do you mean? The phone app. Well... You know, like if you've got your telephone and you're in your hotel, yeah. there's a good chance that I would use one of those iRigs or, you know, the IK Media, like an app where it's like guitar and you plug mm. in and it sounds like a guitar, right? Oh, as a, okay. As opposed to, I feel like practicing today. That's Let's a thing? Bring this up. It is. Oh, cool. You haven't seen that? No, no, no. We got to do a gear whore on that. <laughs> <laughs> but I, if you wanted to, if you didn't want to use your iPhone or your Android, you could plug a headphones into this beast and... <laughs> have the least efficient practice amp for your hotel ever. <laughs> anyway, it's in there, right? Mm -hmm. um, okay, so what is it essentially? It's three channels, and the voicing of it is uh, John Petrucci is a Dream Theater guitar player. He's a ripping guitar player, of course. He's got a big beard. First channel is a clean channel, and it's a really clean channel. In fact, it's too clean for me because it doesn't break up in the way that I, that I kind of look for. But it takes pedals well, so... I can, you know, break that up and add a compressor or a bit of a low gain boost to it and it does what it is that I need. But as a clean sound on its own, it's actually really good, but it's really like uh, a lot of headroom and very little break up, which is what he wants and I totally get that. Uh, luckily I can make it work for me. The second channel and the third channel, I think other than slight amounts of gain, uh, Variation. I think there's a bit more available. Like for example, where this one may, you know, what four on the gain here is like maybe seven or eight on this one, but it's voiced the same. So you can set it up like this is your lead channel and this is your um, your rhythm channel. And again, not being super used to that sort of Mark series boogie stuff, uh, it is a different sound for me. But it's it's a killer sound. Uh, what I really like about this thing uh, is the EQ. So there's two EQs and basically on each of the channels you can see you can assign either one of those EQs to the channel. So, you know, for example, if you're rolling your clean sound, you could set it to you know, add this EQ to it now and you get a And 
and uh, it gives you a lot of tonal options. For example, like um, you know, on your second channel here, obviously I don't have a foot pedal set up right now, but I'm trying to run it dry just to give you an idea as well. You got your basic crunch sounds, you know. Your <laughs> But then you can throw in that EQ on this one, all of a sudden. Which is great. So what you can end up doing is, uh, say you could have this EQ set up a little differently than this one for a lead sound. And so you could maybe add a bit more gain and have a similar sort of volume. And then when you get to your lead channel, you so it's a really functional amp and I think for Boogie I've always been uh, kind of hounding them as well as so I'm like make it MIDI put a kind of tube screamer circuit in there put some sort of overdrive circuit and that's another thing they did it's called shred but they call it shred and it's essentially like a uh, an overdrive circuit right you play guitar again you don't play guitar? No. All right. <laughs> it's like the tungsten dipped quantum flux capacitating, you wouldn't understand because it's way too technical <laughs> switch. Actually, what it does is, uh, let's see, so. Give us example. Okay, so it's like, I don't know, it's like a, a crunchier thing. So. <laughs> Without it, you kind of get that. And then with it, it's like a... The Metallicanizer. <laughs> it actually reminds me of like that kind of older Metallica sound, which is really cool, because I had always assumed they were using something different. When I was a kid, I had a 50 cal boogie that was a great sounding amp as well, really simple. But this is a, sort of a throwback to that sound, and I really dig it. Uh, I don't know what the tubes are. I don't know what the specs are. But uh, when I'm trying these things out, I know whether or not I like it. I mean, it's got a reverb thing that came with it that I unplugged because I'll never use it. But it's a spring reverb, so if you're into that, you can have a spring reverb on your Metallica sound or, or what have you. But uh, yeah, this new Mesa amp, the John Petrucci 2C, I think it's uh, an example of, of an amp company that is using their strengths to sort of play ball with uh, the digital world as well. I mean, I always use a combination of two things. Mostly it's just Axe Effects, Axe Effects, or Kemper Axe Effects or whatever, but having the boogie and the Axe Effects, and I always use a boogie cab or a boogie power amp and you know run the effects through this, this Line 6 thing. And this is a great solution, specifically because it's MIDI. It's got that sort of overdrive circuit. It's got a bunch of features in the back that are really cool that I'll never use, but you might. And you can rack mount it. I think it's a, a really forward thinking thing from Mesa. And oh yeah, Mesa, right on. Anyway, this is Dev and that's Zim. And as the gear whore and the other gear whore, you like camera stuff, right? Yeah. You should get some camera stuff. I should. I'll film you. Yeah. All right. From the gear horrors, we say to you, suck it. <laughs>